Hello again. I told you we'd meet again, and we did. Here we are. Um, I got some more requests on some more boxcar racer tunes, so we're gonna do more of that. This one is about the snare roll in the chorus of Watch the World. And what's going on with that is he's got this cool little marching thing going, but then he busts into this 16th note triplet roll, throwing in a backbeat, and some of you are asking how to play that sticking. So I did put the sticking in the description of the video for the cover, and when I asked if that helped, you guys said no. So I'm gonna go through and try to walk you through that and see if we can figure that out together. So what I'm assuming is tripping some of you up that have tried this and have asked me about it is that it starts out with a 16th note groove, and what that means is for every eighth note, you've got two 16th notes inside that. So if my hi-hat is playing eighth notes, there's gonna be two pulses inside that for 16th notes, which would be one E and a, two E and a. Halfway through that, he then switches to 16th note triplets, and what that means is there's now three notes of equal value inside the, those eighth notes, or the hi-hats there. So we go from one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, boom. So, and then on top of that, the sticking we're playing is kind of awkward for that type of feel because the downbeat switches between a lot of hands. So, I'm assuming that's what the problem is, so I will walk you through that and see if we can figure it out. The sticking for the part that we're talking about is right, right, left, left, right, left, and then you accent a right hand, and then after that accent you play left, left, right, right, left. So, without me pausing between that and telling you where the accent is, it's right, right, left, left, right, left, right, left, left, right, right, left, and again, right, right, left, left, right, left, right, left, left, right, right, left you've got six notes in each pattern. The first one stops right before the accented right, and then the second group starts on that accented right. So the problem here is we're starting out with something like a double stroke roll, but we're not playing it in 16th notes. If we were doing that in 16th notes, the downbeat would be on the right hand every time. You'd have one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. But because we are switching it to 16th note triplets, the downbeat is getting shifted all over the place because we're playing two notes on our right hand and then going to two notes on our left hand, which equals four notes, but the downbeat happens after every three. So the downbeat is now going to be on the second left hand, which might feel kind of weird if you've never done anything like that before. So before we get into the sticking, a good exercise would be just playing straight doubles, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, but feeling it in 16th note triplets. Or you can just sing triplets and count quarter notes, whatever you want. Um, but the way that's gonna go is the first downbeat is gonna be on the right hand, the second downbeat will be on the second left hand, the third downbeat will be on the left hand, and the fourth downbeat will be on the second right hand, and then the next downbeat will be on the right hand again. So the way this is gonna go, I'll play this on the hi-hat so you can try to hear it a little better. The bass drum is going to be keeping the eighth note pulse for you. So you can practice that just to get used to the downbeat switching on those different hands. And then on top of that, I will now play the same pattern but I will accent where the downbeat is. So we'll just count quarter notes and tr treat this like triplets. So the first accent will be on one, the second one will be on two, the next one will be on three, and the last one will be on four. So we'll have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Get comfortable with that. Once you can do that and it doesn't throw you off, then we can look at the sticking for this beat. Um, 
I think this is how Travis plays it, because the, the original way I had this was I figured something out and the accent was switching from right hand to left hand back and forth. But then I looked up a YouTube video of them playing this live and Travis kept playing the accent on the right hand. So I just came up with the sticking that made sense that would allow that to happen. So the way this is working is we are, we have three notes inside every eighth note and then the sticking is just whatever I said it was. Right, right, left, left, right, left. Accented right, left, left, right, right, left. So I will play my bass drum as a quarter note, so we can treat these as triplets again. And I will just play this a couple times for you so you can hear how it sounds. So once you can play that, you've come a long way. Once you understand that, then I assume you will have no more problems with this. But if you do, we can work on playing, going from the 16th notes to the 16th note triplets. By the way, the 16th note part, um, you can just think of it as straight 16th notes. So one E and a, two E and a, and then we'll see what he's, he's going. Uh, he's accenting the uh of one and the and of two. So the way you can think about that is you can just Play singles, starting with the right hand alternating. Accent the uh of one with the left hand, the and of two with the right hand, which would sound like this. And once you can do that, just put flams on top of those, which will sound like this. So you play two beats of that, and then he goes into the 16th note triplets. So slowly, we'll have something like this. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. So I hope that helps if you couldn't figure it out with the sticking, which is totally okay because it's kind of a, not the most complex thing in the world, but it's not, it's not easy. So if you didn't understand, I'm glad you asked and I hope that helped. Um, I also was asked about the beginning of There Is, which I think is track 10. And lucky for you, it's the same thing as the first two beats. Um, and then he just plays 16th notes with the roll kind of through the end. So that, Two beats where we're playing straight 16th notes, accenting the uh of one with the left hand and the and of two with the right hand and then putting flams on top of it. That's what he's doing and there is. Um, I'll just play the beginning for you real quick. So that's the first two beats of it, and then if you're wondering what the rest of it is, he kind of improvises as the song goes along, but for the beginning, which is what I was asked about specifically, it's just more 16th notes. You play singles for three and E, you play a double stroke roll on the and and uh, you accent the downbeat on four, and then you just play 16th notes through the rest of it. So I hope that helped. Please let me know again if it did or did not, and if it did not, let me know what you are struggling with. Maybe take a video of it, show me what you can do. That would help a lot and then I can get back to you and see what you're doing wrong. Um, you guys can get in contact with me any way you want. You can comment on my YouTube videos. You can, I think there's a link in YouTube. There's definitely links in the descriptions. You can go to my website, my email's on there. I think on YouTube there's a link to my YouTube, my Instagram, my Facebook account, and my Twitter. So I'm accessible, however you wanna do it works. Um, if this did not, get you to where you want to be, let me know and we'll see what we can do. Thanks for checking it out. Good luck.